Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to take a look at the HTC Heroes home screen setup with the widgets. Uh, now this isn't too dissimilar from the widgets that you find on the Omnia 2 that we recently reviewed. So we have multiple home, home screens, we can swipe to the right, and swipe to the right again. We have three home screens in this case, to which we can add a variety of widgets. We can add time widgets and um, launcher widgets and stock widgets and weather widgets, all sorts of things. And of course you can add new widgets to this area. You can even download new ones. It's a very similar thing to how it works on the HTC Hero. So let me zoom in a little bit and we're going to go through this. So on the HTC Hero there are seven home screens, which is actually a little bit too many in my opinion. The reason I say it's too many is because if you want to get to the one all the way to the right, you have to slide your finger to the right, to the right, to the right, and here we are. There's no way to quickly jump over to the right. The trackball helps a little bit, but again, you have to swipe, 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 and then you're over to the left. It's a little bit cumbersome, and as we're going to find out um, throughout this video and future videos, the the HTC Hero is slightly lacking in the hardware department. It needs a faster processor or more RAM. When you start to add a lot of widgets, things get a little bit slow. Anyway, let's take a look at the widgets that we have here. So right now I have a next appointment widget with a dual clock widget and some icons here to launch programs. Now we can move any of these widgets around, although we're out of space. The way you do that is you tap and hold, and you actually get to see where you can possibly move a widget. And that helps you keep everything aligned very square and flush. Now if I tap and hold mail, I'll have an open slot over here. If I remove this new appoint the next appointment widget, I'll open up a, a big swath of space up here where I can place various icons. And as you saw earlier, if you want to remove an icon, you just bring it down here to remove, and it goes away. Now, to add a widget, there are two ways to add a widget, actually. You can just hit the plus button down here or tap and hold on the home screen. And then we get a variety of widgets that we can choose from, and we're going to go through all of those in a minute. Um, but first, I want to talk about scenes. So if you press the menu button, you get something that's called scenes. And later, we're going to go through the whole Android interface to explain exactly how um, the Android interface works compared to Windows Mobile and other mobile platforms. Now, a scene is a pre-configured set of widgets. You have one called Social, which puts, for example, Twitter on your second screen so you can easily send a tweet. Uh, there's one called Travel, which has a variety of ways to keep track of how the weather is in various cities and what time it is in various cities. You have Clean Slate, which is obviously clean. Um, here is Custom One. This is one that I particularly like, and it's I like it a lot because it's very clean. It gives me access to only the things that I need to see. So the screen, screen dims a little bit as it loads my particular custom home screen. So this is the home screen setup that I really like. I get a small clock at the top, not too big. I get some icons of things that I want to see. Next appointment and a battery meter, which is actually an addition that I downloaded from the Android Marketplace, which I'll talk about later. To the right, there is nothing. I like to keep it clean. And actually, it's to the left. And to the right, I have the, the current weather. And what's really great about the, the HTC Hero is that it knows what city I'm in without actually putting it in. So if I travel to Philadelphia, it will say Philadelphia, the current temperature. If I travel to New York City, it will say New York City and the current temperature. If you tap on that widget, you will get a forecast for that particular city. And for those of you that use Windows Mobile, you'll probably think this is familiar. This is the same weather tab that you get on the HTC Touch HD, HTC Touch Pro 2, Touch Diamond 2. There's a lot of elements taken from the Windows Mobile touch flow interface put onto the HTC Hero. In fact, if you open up a task manager, it's a third-party application on the Hero, the home screen interface is referred to as TouchFlow. So there you have it. So I'm going to press the back button. Then we have another set of, uh, of shortcuts over here to dial favorite people. So I can tap on their name to get their to call their phone. Um, here I have a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth switch, a link to camera. If I go over to the right, nothing is there, because again, I like to keep it very clean. So let's start customizing a panel. Let's say we want to add certain things to this panel. I'm going to click the plus button to bring up the list of widgets. Now, we can bring up a list of shortcuts. We can take a bookmark that comes right from uh, the, the web browser on the Hero. So we can put a link to Google. And there it is, quite simply. And we can go back to the plus, do a shortcut to, say, Google Mail label or a certain mail inbox. If you have multiple email accounts configured, 
You can also link to a person in your contacts list or to a program. If, say, if there's a program that you use on a regular basis, let's say you use the program called Backgrounds a lot. And Backgrounds is a really cool program. We're going to go through it later that lets you change all of the backgrounds. It comes pre-configured with a ton of great looking um, themes that you can have. So let's go into the next item, HTC widgets. This is the widgets that HTC has created that are a little bit different than what you get on, say, a G1. So we can have this bookmarks widget which I think is actually kind of a CPU intensive thing that I wouldn't want to have on. And there are two visual styles, just a list or a very iconic based um, bookmark selection. So we can place that on the screen and it says no space on the screen, drag to another screen to place. And let's see, bring it up. Sometimes it's hard to tell it to go over to the next screen. Here it goes, I rolled the uh, trackball, and here it is. This is a list of bookmarks that I've got on my device, but let me take this off and remove it. Back to the screen, HTC widgets. We can do a calendar. The calendar is really fantastic, actually. And you can change the style from this standard calendar. It looks very similar to what you find on TouchFlow 3D or even the iPhone. Or we can go to simply the next appointment item, which is really, really handy to have so you know where you're supposed to be. So I'm going to go with the calendar. And again, it needs more space, so I'm going to drop it right here. And it's a really great calendar application because I can click on a certain day and it will bring up what's happening. It'll also give me the weather for my particular area, just like you get on, again, TouchFlow 3D. You get this in the calendar tab. Okay, so let's throw this away and go back to the list. Then you have clock, and there's a variety of clocks you can choose. Let me show you. We can use the trackball to go over. This is very, very TouchFlow 3D looking. I'm sure you'll recognize that. We can dual clock or a very artistic clock, kind of cartoonish. And of course, as with any of the widgets, you can just move them around on the screen. Let's do the dual clock. And we are going to put, put it um, down here, and we'll remove it. So we're not going to go through every single widget. I just want to show you kind of the cool ones that are left. So we have Footprints, which is another feature from Windows Mobile Devices. We have Mail, which is another feature from Windows Mobile Devices. It lets you flick through your mail messages just like you get um, in TouchFlow 3D. And there are actually a few different versions of this. This particular one lets you flick through like so. We're going to go back. Messages, Music. People, which you've already seen, it lets you let you look through favorite people. Photo album, again, comes from TouchFlow 3D. You can flick through pictures. Photo frame, really cool idea with photo frame. What you can do is you can take a picture from your um, photo gallery and basically have a photo of, say, you know, your your friend or your spouse or whatever, what have you, on your main screen. So I don't really have that many pictures on here, but I'm going to take the first one that I see. I have no idea what this is. And you can also resize it, crop it. And now you have a little picture frame right on your home screen so that you always see the picture of your spouse when you turn on your phone. Not sure if you want to have that, but uh, if you do, that has that option. Really interesting widget. And let's go back down, see what else we have. We can do a search, we can do settings, we can choose any setting really from this list to put onto the home screen. So with one touch, you can turn on Wi-Fi or GPS. Uh, going down the list further, we have a really cool Twitter widget. Looks like I just got a text message from Dan Webster. Um, so we can have two different styles of the uh, of the of Twitter. We can have the small widget, or we can have the larger sort of um, widget that lets you see more at one time. So let's go with that one. And it wants me to log in here, but I haven't configured my Twitter yet, so we won't go there. Let's go back to the next one. We have weather and stocks, and stocks is pretty cool. It's very touch flow 3D like. I'm sure that's not a surprise to you at this point. And actually didn't select the right one. Stocks, here we go. And there are several different stock styles. So you can have a small ticker, a larger, more in depth ticker, as you saw before. And it looks like I selected just the standard ticker, though I'm imagining this to use a lot of battery and CPU. So again, these widgets aren't really well optimized for the device. I think they use a lot of power and the device could benefit from some, some better utilization of the CPU and RAM.
So overall, I love the ability to customize my home screen. Uh, this has been one of my biggest complaints about the iPhone is that you can't do much with the home screen. You have a bunch of icons, and then you have another page of icons. But at least with the Hero and Android devices, you can have next appointment, and you can see at a glance your battery level, and you can um, turn Wi-Fi on and off in one click, or you can click on an icon for to dial your friend or, or um, text them very quickly, or to see your, how many messages you have all in one screen, or if there's more information that you need, you can go to the screens on the right. There are seven of them, which I actually think is a little bit too much. I wish HTC has offered maybe a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven button along the bottom to allow you to jump from screen to screen, or even remove screens if you're not using all of them and make it easier to go from side to side. So that's it for the whole Sense UI widget-based interface on the HTC Hero. We're gonna be back soon with a lot more on how the whole Android interface actually works with the notification systems, the whole menu system, and how things actually work compared to, say, a Windows mobile device. That's it for now.